What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Pat. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the new keyword difficulty score by SEMrush. Now, most of you guys know if you know anything about SEO or been in the industry for a little bit, you already know that keyword difficulty just means how hard it would be to rank for a specific keyword. For an example, if the keyword has a keyword difficulty score of two, it's probably going to be a lot more easier to rank with just some simple on page versus if the keyword had a score of 60, right? If the keyword has a score of 60, you're most likely going to have to have your on page on point. And then you're also going to have to work on your off page, which means that you're going to have to actually do some link building to get that page for that keyword on the first page. And the people over at SEMrush actually gave me early access to try out the new keyword difficulty formula that they're going to be rolling out i believe the middle to the end of may so it's coming up pretty soon here so i'm going to be actually using their new formula and we're going to go through the steps of doing some simple keyword research i'm going to be actually finding keywords to rank a blog for a client then we're actually going to be comparing the keyword difficulty of the old slash current score to the new and improved kd scores right so i'm going to be comparing the two so that you guys can actually see if their formula has improved gotten worse or if it's the same right i personally think it's going to be a lot better just by looking at what their new formula actually consists of now their new formula is actually consisting of two major parts the first part is the winners this simply means that they're taking the top 10 competitors on the first page and they're getting the medians of the authority scores of those websites. They're getting the medians of the referring domains and then they're also getting the medians of the no follow to do follow link ratio. And then the second part is actually the keyword impact. And this is pretty much referring to is a keyword, a shorter keyword or a longer keyword simply because a shorter keyword is normally going to be much harder to rank than a long tail keyword. For an example, blue shirt is going to be extremely difficult to rank for versus blue shirt for oversized men is probably going to be a lot easier to rank for, right? And then they're also taking into consideration is the keyword a transactional intent, information intent, or navigational, right? Usually transactional is going to be very more difficult to rank for because this means that the searcher is ready to buy versus someone that's doing an informational type search query. They're usually just doing research and trying to figure out the best option to buy maybe in the future, right? But they're not exactly ready to buy. So those are the main things that consist of the new SEMrush keyword difficulty score formula. So without further ado, let's dive right into the video, guys. The plan in this video is to find some specific keywords that we want to target. We're going to be creating a blog post for one of my clients in the garage door repair space. So I'm going to find some related keywords. I already picked the main keyword that I want to target. So basically, I'm going to be finding supporting keywords, long tail keywords that we can also include within our content so we can also rank for other keywords. Now you're going to naturally start ranking for related keywords. That's really just how the tools and Google itself works. It doesn't just rank one specific keyword. It's going to rank related topics, related phrases, related keywords that just comes naturally. So don't worry about choosing a hundred keywords. You really only need, need a few to get started with your actual piece of content. Um, so let's get right into it guys. I, since I already have my target phrase, what you want to do is first you want to go over to keyword overview, and this is where you're going to start your keyword research. So if you already have a keyword in mind, this is where you would go into here. You want to, you know, paste it into here, type it into here, and then you're going to press analyze. Once you have your keyword, you're going to come to a screen like this. So you can see my target keyword is clicker keypad reset. Now the reason I'm choosing this keyword is because this is a very high intent keyword, which means people are searching for a immediate solution to their problem, right? They're having trouble resetting their keypad for their garage door. So they're panicking. They want to fix it. So they're going on to Google 
and they're looking for an immediate solution. So I thought this would be a good idea for a blog post so we can write and publish to my client's website just to get some more traffic, right? We want that relevant traffic that's going to ultimately gonna help boost our overall SEO rankings across our website. So we have the volume of 260 here in the US. Now guys, make sure you do have this set into whatever country you're located in. For an example, if we click the UK, you can see that in the UK, it only has 10 searches a month. Now this might be because it, they may be, you know, call it something different over there, which is why there's such a decrease in search volume. So just make sure you are in the correct uh, country which you're located in. So we're in the United States. So 260 monthly searches, a keyword difficulty, it's giving us a 73%, which, you know, that really actually sounds pretty high. So we're going to see later on. Um, and then over here you have the keyword variations, then you have questions and you have related keywords. Now, this right here is great. The keyword variations, this is great to have supporting keywords within the actual body of your content. I really like to use questions as supporting headers. This is going to allow you to rank for many other keywords by having these questions as you know, your header twos, your header threes, right? Uh, mainly your questions are going to be header twos and then whatever supporting content is under that is going to be your header threes, right? And I, if you want to learn more about how to actually write a blog post and structure it step by step, I do have a video on that. So I'll put that in the description below so you guys can check that out. Another cool feature that I like on the keyword overview page is you can see the quick SERP analysis. So if we get, get metrics, it's going to quickly load up the page authority score, referring domains, backlinks, search traffic, and the URL keywords. So you can go into here and you can see the page authority score of the competitors that are on the first first page. You can also see the referring domains and the backlinks. So this is usually what determines the keyword difficulty score, at least in the past, it's mainly been highly focused on the amount of referring domains and backlinks that that specific page has going to it, right? Um, so these are the referring domains that are only going to this page, not the entire website. Um, and that's what's giving them authority score and the keyword difficulty score, right? So this is very nice to see because uh, myself, I like to do a manual analysis instead of just relying on the keyword difficulty score. I always like to go into, for an example, Google and actually do a search um, myself. So I can go into here and look kind of what's ranking. Um, I can see Pinterest is ranking here on the first page. So whenever you see, you know, Pinterest, uh, Quora, um, you know, social platforms like that, it's usually a, a good indication that as long as you properly structure your piece of content correctly and you answer the main keyword as best as possible. Now, this does not mean go and write 5,000 words. That's really not necessary anymore. What Google is looking at is the best article that answers the question as best as possible. If you can do that in 500 words, if you can do that in 700 words, there's really no need to overdo it, right? Um, but of course, you always want to go and see what the competition is doing. Um, so this would be my first step when determining the keyword. Just go into here, check out the keyword difficulty, check out the variations, questions, and do a SERP analysis. So. That would be my first step, guys. And like I said, this will be my target keyword. Um, and now, since I do have early access to the new keyword difficulty score from SEMrush, I will be uh, checking the updated scores against these. So just to see how accurate the new calculations will actually be, right? And I will actually be writing and publishing this content for my client so we can actually see the rankings that we end up getting. So this would be my first step, guys. Uh, the next step is to do a competitor analysis. This is one of the easiest ways to figure out what specific keywords you want to target. So if we go, this one looks like low. So I want to go to an actual uh, like a blog website or a company like a service company, like their actual company website. Right. 
So sellaband.com. This might be like a blog, a blog type website. So let's go into here. So to check out their keywords, we're going to go under URL keywords. And if we just click on this right here, it should take us to the screen right here. So we can see the keywords, traffic, traffic costs. And this, I believe, is just for this for their specific page on this blog post. Um, so if we scroll down here, we can get some more ideas of keywords that we'd want to target. Um, so how to reset click your garage door keypad without code. So this is a nice long tail keyword. Look how many searches this gets. It gets 480 searches on a monthly basis. The keyword difficulty score is 70. You can see hard. Um, I actually, this looks like another new feature where they have the little uh, red orange dots here, which is actually, you know, pretty nice, um, especially in a visual aspect. So you can just quickly see whether it's hard, medium, or, you know, easy, right? Um, but it looks like a lot of these currently, it says a lot of them are hard. So we're going to be testing that out, guys. Um, so this is going to be a keyword that I'm definitely going to be including simply because usually long tail keywords are, are easier to go after and rank for. Um, so that's one that I'm going to be taking note of, guys. Uh, let's see. Clicker keypad reset. That's, I think, my target keyword. How to reset garage door key keypad without code so you can see this is a very easy way to get ideas um, of keywords that you won't, might want to target um, so like I said take you know the number one number two number three competitor throw them into SEMrush and see what keywords these guys are already ranking for make sure you include those within your content because you also want to get these keywords because it's just going to increase your traffic guys this is literally all you have to do is see what's already working, see what's already getting traffic and go out and do the same. Don't do it exactly. Make your content better. OK, and it also gives you the traffic score so you can see what keywords are actually bringing in the most traffic because not always um, are the top keywords going to bring in the most traffic simply because sometimes they have rich snippets. Um, so you'll get the you know position zero and a lot of the times people won't even click through to go to your blog um, because they get all the information they need just from the search result right so that would be another way you can get keyword idea guys if you want to go through a full keyword research tutorial i have a full samrush keyword tutorial so i'll also put that in the description below so you guys can also check it out guys. So the last thing I would do is I would go over to the keyword magic tool. Once you're in the keyword magic tool, again, make sure you put in your target keyword like I did here and you're going to come to this page. What I like of the keyword magic tool is that you can actually group uh, keywords depending on uh, these specific keywords. For an example, we can group them by the key term garage and it's going to group all these different uh, keywords together so that's very handy guys I'm gonna back, go back to all keywords and notice I actually put a keyword to include clicker so I only want keywords that have the actual word clicker and then to appear so I added that and I put apply and now you can see it's only giving me keywords that actually mentions clicker in it this is just going to allow me to find highly targeted keywords that I can include within my content. So whenever I go through this step, guys, this would probably be my last step of gathering a few keywords together. So I already have a list made up, guys. I'm going to be going over to the Keyword Manager tool, guys. And I believe once they actually roll out the feature, it should be available across the entire tool. So these are the keywords that I'm going to be targeting, guys. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to kind of compare uh, the new uh, KD difficulty scores against the old ones. So let's go ahead and add keywords. It's going to take a little bit. All right, guys, so all the data downloaded now. So what we have to do here, uh, we have to hit the refresh button on all of these to get the new KD difficulty score. So you can see right now uh, they're pretty much on the 70s. This one's in the 60s. Uh, so I'm going to estimate, um, I really think these are a lot easier than what the current KD score is. Just by quickly doing the SERP analysis, you know, I saw that there's uh, Pinterest in here. 
this looks like a support.com so this might be like a forum or something um, so I really don't think it'll be too difficult so let's go ahead and update these guys and they will take a little bit of time to load so I'll be right back with you guys so while that loads guys so this is the actual content that we wrote so we actually have uh, the key word and some key phrases inside the title and then we have this nicely structured uh, blog post right so you know these are going to be h2s this is another h2 and then the supporting headers are h3s 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 like i said i do have a full video on how to actually structure your blogs for best seo purposes so make sure you do check that out in the link below all right guys let's go see if they finished loading so let's go back to the keyword manager and you can definitely see a huge difference guys look at that keyword difficulty scores are in the 20s 2017 18 23 uh, so you can see a huge difference guys from being in the 70s going down to 20s i mean right off the back like i said just looking at the serp uh, analysis by myself i did notice that the keywords definitely weren't in the 70s so this is definitely a lot more reasonable uh, you know according to the keywords i mean at the end of the day these are pretty long tail keywords and i honestly didn't think it would be that difficult and look how many how much uh, searches these guys get on a monthly basis just this one alone gets 720 this one gets 480 right so these are definitely going to be some keywords that i'm going to be going after so i highly recommend you guys to check out sembrush with this new keyword difficulty score i really do think you know they're becoming one of the best tools on the market for seo research so make sure you guys check it out if you guys can it should be a lot easier for you guys to get accurate data for your keyword research i did publish the blog for my client so this was the blog right here um you know nicely structured we have h2s we have related keywords and h3s and so forth so let's go into semrush and actually see what we're ranking for so i put in my client's website here um and if we go back i think this was one of the long tail keywords we wanted how to reset clicker garage door keypad without code so it does look like we actually are in the fifth position for this keyword 480 volume searches a month and you can see the current kd score is still at a 70 and if we compare it with the old one it's at a 17 right so definitely much more easier than what i would have originally thought um, if i was just relying on the old kd score right so that one is ranking pretty good guys let's go over to here let's check out our main keyword clicker keypad reset got 260 searches let's go into here clicker keypad reset so it looks like we're in position six right now um the initial kd was 73 compared to this one a uh, 21 guys so huge difference in there and i think we're ranking for a bunch of other keywords as you can see all of these are like related keywords uh, so if you structure your blog post correctly you're really just going to rank you know for hundreds of other keywords right so definitely something to be on the lookout for guys the new keyword difficulty score from semrush highly recommend you guys to check it out so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys go out and try out the new formula by semrush i'll leave a link in the description so that you can sign up you can actually get a free account i believe they have a free trial that you can actually get and like i mentioned the new feature will be rolling out the middle to the end of may so it's coming up right around the corner if you guys enjoy watching digital marketing seo videos consider subscribing and leave me a like if you like this video or if you just simply like seo because i'm going to be making a lot more videos here coming soon and i'm going to show you step by step like how i've been doing on real clients so if you're interested in that then hit that notification button and i'll see you guys in the next one